the very first thing that I'm going to do with this is to write it as a power of I squared. So I'm going to rewrite this as I squared in the parenthesis. 48 divided by 2 is 24. So I get I squared to the 24th power. Now I can use that part of the definition that says that I squared is equal to a negative 1. So continuing to simplify this, that I squared becomes a negative 1. And I've got that to the 24th power. So I've got this negative 1 multiplied 24 times. That's an even number of negatives, which means that our answer for this first one is a positive 1. Let's do something really similar with this next one. This one is also an even power. So I'm going to write this as a power of I squared. Um, 54 divided by 2 is 27. So I get a 27 on the outside. Now I can replace that I squared with a negative 1. But this time I've got negative 1 an odd number of times. Because that 27 is an odd power, my answer here is a negative 1. But what happens when your power itself is odd? I want to do the very same thing that I did with the other examples. So instead of thinking of this as i to the 41st, I'm going to think of this as a single i times an i to the 40th. I still have 41 i's multiplied together, but what I've done is to isolate an even power. So I can leave my i on the outside, and then with my i to the 40th, I can play the same game that I played in the last examples. I'm going to write that as a power of i squared. 40 divided by 2 is 20, so I end up with the 20th power there. I still have my i on the outside. i squared is is a negative 1 and negative 1 to the 20th power is a positive so I end up with a positive I there. Why don't you pause this one and work it through and then rejoin me. Now this is an odd power so I do want to separate one of my I's out. If I take one I away that's going to leave me with 72 I's left. So I still have 73 there all together. I'm going to leave that I out in front and I'm going to rewrite I to the 72nd as a power of I squared. Now 72, 72 divided by 2 is equal to 36. So I get a 36 on the outside here. And and that's going to leave me with an i. I'm going to replace i squared with a negative 1. And I have an even number on the negative 1. So my answer here is i. You are doing fantastic.